Hey guys and welcome, my name's NG Paradox and welcome back to our Republican Spain series where well, last time we've kind of hit a brick wall when it comes to expansion. Um, the Allies are completely focused on us right now and it's making it extremely difficult for us to push on in many areas. What we really need to find is a different front to attack from um, and the only thing I can think of is if we can defeat them finally here in Africa we can move our men over here to Eastern Europe where we can help uh, release Bulgaria. Bulgaria, defeat Yugoslavia and Greece. Um, that's why I think we need to go help the Italians next because I need the Italians to kind of change their strategy. Um, I don't feel like uh, South Africa, you know, Africa really Italy should be winning. They've got basically all their men in Africa right now. I'm not sure what they're doing so I'm going to leave that for them for now um, and the rest of it yeah that's where we really need to be going until the Soviets if they ever do declare war uh, no national focus set yet, so they're probably never going to be able to declare war on the Allies due to the certain requirements for it. So we really, w this could be the end of it for us. I, I do feel like this could be one we will lose. Now obviously this was the first time I've ever played a Hearts and Iron game. So I've been quite happy with uh, you know, how well I've done. I don't think we've done terribly. I probably should do air superiority. We've got some naval invasions it says. Yeah, for the first time I ever playing a Hearts of Iron game, I'm not complete, completely fussed about it. You know, I think we did a pretty good job. We learned definitely a lot. This place is probably a good place to attack, in fact. Uh, we'll attack there. You guys probably, if they, if they stop though, probably going to attack. Are you guys attacking as well? They are. Okay, how about you guys attack there? And you attack there. How about all these ones attack just for now? Just to add to it. Oh, they can't win. Not just against three? Come on. Okay, go back. Okay, now they push back against me. Jesus. This is bad. Very bad. I'm not sure we're going to be able to defeat them in Africa. That's the problem here. Can't see any way around this right now. Huh. And with all the men coming in. Yeah, someone was saying, was I getting a... Uh, before someone asked me, was I getting Greece and American flag confused? I wasn't sure because this guy definitely... Look, I can see, like, the blue, but I can't see any red. That's why I just assumed it was Greece. I don't know. Maybe I'm being crazy. You can see the Greece flag there. If I pull out, I can see, yeah, I can see Greece flag. That is definitely, that is definitely not the American army. I have no idea where the American army is right now, but that is definitely, that has to be Greece. We've kind of, yeah, we've kind of hit the standstill of our uh, expansion, our uh, also production, everything. We've kind of hit that kind of uh, push. I, this Maybe this is the furthest we can go with Spain from how I set it up from the beginning. But like I said, this series is kind of just to learn things and develop things and learn how the game works and how to develop for another time. And I think it's gone actually pretty well. I've really enjoyed it though. It's been pretty crazy. But I just need to defeat Africa. If we can just defeat these last four places, everything would be set. Seriously, everything would be set if we could just defeat these last few places. Okay. You guys recover. You're almost recovered, so you go in. If we can just defeat these last few places... We could move these men. That, that's actually a lot of men. The problem is that the reason they're not doing very well is because we don't have very good supplies there. And we have nuclear bombs. <gasps> oh my god. We have nuclear bombs. What do we do with these? We have to build, I guess, nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors built. Six. Total production speed, 1.6% a day. Next nuclear bomb is done and will be ready roughly in 61 days. <gasps> We have a nuclear bomb in 61 days. Now, I don't know how many you should have. How many is good? I'm not really sure. I say this is the first time I've ever had a nuclear bomb. So I'm actually kind of excited. I want to see what happens. We should make some radio. We haven't really done anything with radio, so I feel like it was a missed opportunity. Interception detection. Eh, let's, go for, let's go to that one then, yeah. That could be useful when trying to f fly in a nuclear bomb, possibly. What's going on? No, so basically trying to keep an eye on these two areas. Iraq joined the Axis. The Soviet Union just declared one. Oh, if only they joined the Allies. Oh, if only you joined the Allies. Oh, was it Iraq though, actually? Yeah, it was Iraq. So Iraq has done that. 
If only they joined the Allies. I mean, like, why join the Axis? The Axis is going to lose. It's like a silly decision. And the Italians are fighting for their lives over here in Greece. They need the extra men. Like, I really think you could do it. I don't imagine they have like a ton of men. 31 to 48. Yugoslavia has one man. Are you actually kidding me? What the hell happened to all their men? But they're actually uh, Greeks up here. What happened to all their men? I was sure they had more than that. Huh. I guess uh, since Tito became in charge, maybe he just doesn't like it? He doesn't like the army, maybe. So I said disband it. I have no idea. Or well, they died, like, possibly. I guess there's a possibility. Iraq is likely to get smashed here. Can't see any of that going any whatever way. We're still winning the battle. That does not mean we're winning. You guys jump in then. That four jumping in should really help actually. 90, there we go. We actually might push in. This has been a pain in my side for ages, this one place. Come on, my men. Fight for the nation of Spain. For all the people at home. Who look at the past glories when Spain was powerful like 300, 400, 500 years ago. Philip, Charles, all those great kings. No, I mean, call them great, I guess. is Depends upon your definition, I suspect. Some people consider them great, some not. They just keep bringing more men back every time I push forward. Just more men come back in. Just like basically I'm doing, but yeah. It's just more annoying because I'm the player. It's just, it just feels more annoying. 95. Come on. Anyone stopped? Everyone's in. 96. Any men going to join? Ace pilot has been promoted. He who dares wins. I should look at his name. I forgot to look at his name. That's important. The names for ace pilots are the most important thing. I have to bring five men. From the Philippines? And Liberia. That's Liberia, not America, that one. There's definitely, there's definitely one flag in the middle there. Yeah, it's definitely Liberia. One flag in the middle. It has to be. Okay, no, I didn't, they just got in in time. Damn them. Every single time they just make it. I do apologize, do apologize for him from the background. My uh, dog is slightly upset. Just, he's like he's like at the door, like kind of in the corner of the door, like scratching at it, wanting to get in. It's so cute. I wish you guys could see it. But I don't think that is how war goes. We're about to push in again. 99. And there we go. Finally. It is done. So I'll keep you guys back. Now, that goes all the way. So, yeah, only these three need to be contained. So there we go, perfect. Now the question is, where do we go from here? Uh, this one, one, six, one, eight. I can't see what's here. So we're gonna leave you guys there. You guys are gonna stay back here. So there we go, perfect. Okay, just three slots remaining. That's all. He's gonna, they're defending themselves against the attack by these guys. They're kind of spreading out now. Yeah, I guess they're kind of throwing their men all over the place just to make sure they can actually survive. They control the two docks, so that's kind of important for them. So they're, they're probably fine when it comes to resources and stuff. And supplies. Damn them, they have all the supplies. You must kill them and take the supplies. Are these guys weak? I can't tell them many people are here. Now, because these guys are fighting us, they're losing pretty badly, so I could probably do a counter-attack here. But again, that won't help me as much, because I'll just go into the middle. They have a load, they're bringing a load of men, you can tell. Go attack, what will happen? 30, ugh. Not so good actually, yeah. Okay, come back guys. Oh my god, they're bringing so many more men. But, these guys are losing a lot as well, we can now modify, we are scraping the barrel. 4 million, we're gonna run out of men at this rate. Definitely. Screen, screen attack, naval max range. I guess naval, we don't really have much for naval stuff. Captain of industry. Civilian so factory, now we want nuclear things. 27% towards one. So I don't know how many you normally need. And I don't even know how to use them actually, yeah. I actually don't even know how to use them. Damn. <laughs> um, screen attack and defense, I think. Yeah, let's go for that. We'll get that one, I guess. But I actually don't even know how to use the bombs, nuclear weapons. Um, 
I probably wouldn't even... I don't know how much damage it would do and stuff. I, I really need to learn more about it. But I think we're going to have to just build a few more. Put them top priority. So build them in Spain, of course, because then people will you know, like us. Build them in the important places. The places no one will attack. Madrid. Castile. Build them here. And go all the way to the bottom. I wish there was a button to just put it to the top. There must be. Ah, shift, click. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, I was going to say, that would be really silly if you don't have that. Put them to the top. Those should be built. Um, shouldn't take too long. They won't get damaged because they're in Spain. So there we go. And that gives us more nuclear weapons. I, <laughs> I said how to use them. Do I click on it like nuclear bomb? I guess we'll be on like air stuff. Let's have a quick look here. How does this work? Just trying to see because I've never used the nuclear bombs before. So I'm kind of wondering... Like, if you like put them here, does it have like strategic mission efficiency? No, I guess I don't have I don't have a nuclear bomb yet, so it probably wouldn't even come up even if I had it. That's a good point. That is a good point. I probably won't come up until I have one. So we'll wait till we have one, and then we'll see what pops up. Strategic bombers. Speaking of strategic bombers, the best one there. Technologies. Uh, rocket engines. And get some jet engines. I guess rocket engines would be quite nice. How do we get them? I guess it's from missiles, maybe? Rocket engines. Jet engines. Okay, let's go for that then. Let's go to get those rocket engines. Let's see what happens. Get our, you know, air force a bit more modern. You just jump into there. They have a load more men back here now. It's going to be a tough fight now trying to take these because they can just keep bringing men in. So it makes it really tough to try and defeat them. Okay, keep going. Construction. Good just good time when we're just constructing that time. Uh, oil plant, we'll do that. I know I built some refineries and stuff if I remember correctly. Because we don't have much oil. Has to be said. Okay, you stay out. You know what? Don't even bother. There we go. 95. We'll do them on the counter attack. Now move in men in. I don't know how many men though. But that's when you guys come in and you attack them. So these guys can win. <laughs> Those guys have too much supplies and stuff. Now. 20. 98. I do need to get the, Navy for, uh, the Air Force ready in the Netherlands. That's something I really need to set up. They're, push, they're pushing these guys back quicker than we're pushing these guys back. God damn it. They even moving. What is going on? There seems to be like people like doing something. I have no idea what though. 8, 99. Come on. And I, okay, you guys hold back. There we go. So that guy's dead. We can now push into the center. That will cut these two off. But that doesn't make any difference. They're both of a dock. They keep trying to attack us. It just goes 100% straight away. I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. Because like I say, I, I just haven't I haven't tried it. So I'm kind of interested to see how it works. But I'm going to keep my, uh, my should we say, excitement a bit low. Because I know it's probably not going to be much. Or it's going to be less than I thought. Or probably we can't even use it for some silly reason. Like, yeah. Because we need, I guess, probably air superiority. Which is going to be very difficult against a country like England. Once we get in the middle there, we're going to have to choose one side to just attack. Now, I don't know how many men are here. If I knew any men would here, it would be so much more better. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay back. Are you guys... Uh, you are going there. One day. Well, I mean, they could just stay here and then just attack. They don't need to take that because that doesn't add anything. So, yeah. How about we just go attack this and see what happens with all the men. Ooh, 38. Not looking good. Not looking good. Don't bother. Don't bother. Okay, go down there. Just take it. Uh, Iran joined the Axis. The Soviet Union. Won. I want one of them to join the Allies. That'd bring the Allies and the Soviet Union at war together, which is exactly what I need. How are you doing, Italy? Italy's definitely pushed forward a bit actually since we last saw it. So that's quite good. Up here, nothing has happened, and I don't wish to try and push forward. 
I should probably put the Air Force in. Have I uh, done that? You say Western Germany. Let's put these guys into there. So put these fighters in there with their good fighters from there. They'll go and join that. S priority. Must need some men from here. So Lorre. Strategic bombers, you go here. Strategic bombing, go on, yeah, do that, I guess. For now, there's the only two. You guys. Can you get there? You can't get there, can you? Or there. We're going to have to try and move you then. Let's move you up to this one. There we go. So we'll move them into Champagne. 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 I think Champagne. But yeah, it's hard for me to remember sometimes. But yeah. can't remember which one it is. I feel like it's just like how you say Champagne. Because like, you know, in England you normally say Champagne. So it just makes me think about Champagne. But I, I don't think it's pronounced like that for some reason in French. I feel like in French it's called Champagne or something. I don't know. I'm probably being dumb. It probably is Champagne. That that probably makes the most sense. Uh, large ships on low strength. What? What's going on? Are we getting bombed? There's not much I can do about this really. What did I just do? What did I just click on? Did I click on something to bring it over? Did I click on these or something? No, okay. I thought maybe I just clicked them over to walk back all the way. But yeah. Resistance. We've got more men here now. But they still can't attack me. And we're... we're oh God. This is just never going to work. I just need more men. But I can't bring more men because we don't have enough men. If I don't defeat them here, we don't have enough men. And we have an ace pilot. Oh, my dear God. Okay. Okay, you need to come back here. We need to get those... Uh, it's Luxembourg. There's no planes. No planes want to be in Luxembourg. Okay. You guys all need to get here. Except for you, because you can't do much there. Uh, Esperanto, yeah. Everyone get there. Fighters everywhere. What do we have? Decryptive. Uh, enemy air support. There we go. So we got the air support right now. We need a couple going over here. In fact, let's put three over here. And then we'll send one down the here. They are winning, but we'll send one just in case. They're doing okay now. Phew, that was close. I was getting really worried just then. If the allies decide to go on the attack. Maybe we can do it. Maybe this will give me a chance to do a counter attack. Who knows? Have to wait and see. Go that way. Go this way. Join in there. Join your brothers in arms. Fight a good fight. So there we go. They managed to hold back. So let's see what they can do if they push forward. There we go. That looks good. So we can do a counter attack because they're low because they attacked us and we did quite well at defending. Up here is still fine. Okay. Now you go that way. You three should just go join that. Just join the fight. In fact, everyone join the f oh, not, not you, actually. Sorry. I didn't mean for you to attack them. Just go attack them. Only seven. When will you get there? One more day. And there we go. Okay. Now, you guys should fall back. Because that's what you should be doing. They're still winning. Those guys will go help them. Now, this is a two-way split. Okay, just keep going. Yeah, look at that. Yes, we managed to do a nice counter-attack there, so that's good. Let's keep an eye on that. The Air Force is going to be really useful there. Now, going back to Africa. Still, still just the same. I, I have no idea how we're going to get this sorted. I literally have no plan here for Africa. It doesn't feel like it's ever going to get sorted at this point. I think I'm just going to have to make a, um, a leader. Yeah. Okay, we're going to stop him there. We're going to have to make a guy here, and he's just going to have to defend... Until we finally find they've just moved a lot of their men out. That's going to be the only thing we can do. Um, General. I guess we could use him for this. We have 23 men. So that's perfect. He, he's pretty high up. Uh, front line. Across all that. And yeah, we'll just leave him for that. And if I need to, let's make a front line. Just in case we need to. Just take all of it. Yeah. There you go. Just in case we ever need to use it. But... Let's use it. Let's see what he does. Huh. So he's attacking there. I don't like that. 
Halt. Halt yourself. Halt. That's not going to work, is it? Look at that. You attack with both those armies. Nothing happened. He's going to move those men in there. Just leave it. Just defend for now. We'll come back later to sort you guys out. Hopefully he can just defend, though. Uh, oh. Things aren't going great there. They need help. What is this? Plains, mountains. Let's just send these men in. Uh, take half the men. Attack there. These guys attack there. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. We're making a proper comeback now. This is exactly the sort of thing I've been waiting for. I love to fight with a counterattack. It's why I learned when I was playing some multiplayer with some other guys. I love the counterattack. It's really the... I mean, it's just the way to play, really. <laughs> it's probably just the way you're meant to play. But yeah, uh, one guy goes this way. Actually, in fact, three guys go that way. And two guys follow these guys that way. These guys push forward. Keep going, my men. Keep charging. You can do it. Okay, they're pushing you back. Don't let that get you down. You've got this. Everyone knows you do. Those guys are getting to there. Once they get to there, they can join. Okay, no, it's not going to work. But we got into that. This was actually the Soviet Union. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize. We're going to attack there. So they'll attack us. Then we can attack with these guys here. So that works out perfectly. There we go. Uh, these guys can send half the men. They'll come down as well. You guys want to get some more men. They'll get there in six hours. Okay. Now move people north. Take Dortmund. And they've got lots of supplies. So our men should be good for this. Now attack that way. Help them out. These guys need to recover for now. Maybe I pushed a bit too quickly. Maybe I tried to, maybe I tried to go a bit too far for this. We took that for the Soviet Union. Oh, like I said, that, that's fine. In the end, if you take it for the Soviet Union, it's not terrible for us. You should probably come back. I think it's because of the... The reason this happens, if you're wondering why this sort of thing happens with the Soviet Union taking land, is because of the peace conference system. Um, because the Axis hasn't actually been defeated yet, they're not technically at peace, so this land is just basically under control. It means during the peace conference, they'll actually have a proper peace and they'll negotiate who gets what. But that has not happened yet, so it's still kind of messed up who owns what. That is why you get things like this. Um, once the war's over, it should fix itself. Huh. Are they attacking? That's a smart move. Oh. How did... That's such a smart move. That's a good move, in fact. Attack everyone. That's a good move. I, 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 I commend this AI. That was a, I didn't even think... That little piece there. It connects. Of course it does. Oh, so we can't send all the men. Eight, ninety-nine. Ninety-nine, and it's... Okay, they're going to move all the men to stop them. Most likely. And you guys are kind of needed here to defend. How many men are here? Leave a few men behind, because... Uh, you have to, really. So that's five. Five left behind. Uh, three, eight. Five left behind again. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, so we send eight into the center. That should be a good amount. That's going to keep putting men in. 93. So we're just keep killing their men. It keeps just weakening them a bit. But yeah. How's the war actually going overall? One million people have died. It's not been good. 1.9 Italians. When it comes to death, we've lost a lot. But they have lost a lot as well. 291 United States people? What is going on with that one? Yugoslavia, Netherlands, British Raj, France. Now, King, now Kingdom apparently has lost some of its capitulation. What are we going to do with those nuclear weapons? I have no idea. I'm a little bit worried about how they work. Like, what effect do they have? I've heard they can have some side effects. Like, the wrong effect. In a way. Soviet Union now controls this. Jesus. We've just given the Soviet Union back all of its land. Well, like I said, that's better. That actually gets rid of the borders with the, the British. So that's actually kind of good. But it just means I can't grow. 
which is a shame. Because I could then concentrate. Oh, there we go. So look at that. That means this whole line is gone. That whole line is safe now. So we can actually bring all these men around here to Brussels and push through this way. That's actually worked out pretty well. Why did that not happen last time then? Why did it happen this time? Okay. This system, yeah, is kind of confusing. Even even though I thought I knew why it would have been doing that, but now we, we took that before. Then they took it back. Now we took it back, and the Soviet Union now controls it. It says Netherlands is controlling it. Okay. Huh. West Germany as a, as a core state. West Germany? That's not even a country. That doesn't exist. Uh, I, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too tired for this type of thing, but yeah, I love the fact though that yeah, it just it's blocked off now. So who cares about all this? The Netherlands will uh, will survive. It looks like so we can have the men there. So we can push forward here, which is possibly not. We still got a lot of men there themselves. We took that though finally, and they're going to try and take it back from us. And they can't seem to push through. But they don't attack long enough for us to do enough damage. Which is kind of the main problem here. I feel like we have to attack these ones. But the last time, every time we do that, it's never enough. Maybe from all sides. 48. It's looking pretty good at the moment. And these guys are kind of seem to be locked in here. They don't seem to be able to attack these guys. Look at that. 100 every time. 47. Should I get some planes down here? Decryption advantage. His skill is pretty good. Why is he losing? Nine divisions. We have seven divisions. But there's not seven. There's more than seven divisions. Eleven reserves. Eight reserves. Huh. Okay. Yeah, attacking eighteen divisions. Defenders seventeen. So there's actually there's seventeen men back there. Jesus. Okay, this one's much easier to take. Then we're gonna actually move you guys back, and actually. This one is far easier to attack. And you guys still aren't too weak. So can we move you there? Attack here. Nope, still not enough. Apparently. You can't just join in, yeah. It's going a bit our way now. There we go. We're starting to push them down a bit, but they're holding us back now. Bernard, oh, Thomas Jacob Hutton. 58. Not good, not good, not good. I might need to move more men down, but then... Okay, they're, they're defending themselves down here. They seem to find that quite easy. What is this? Uh, terrain forest. Let's move one soldier down to here. Yeah, let's move that one down there. Just not enough. The damn dock. They have a load of men here that we now know. They're weakening themselves by attacking me though, so that's good. What's going on up in Europe? So we've now got a load of men just parked here. Okay, men. Just just see what happens. Just go in on the attack, take that dock, see what happens. Is this gonna be give us the men to just push through? Now obviously he did lose his men as well. They got pushed back as well, so they might have recovered. But we knew they were quite hurt at the time. Everyone just invade. So many men. <laughs> so many men just charging in. This poor little place. What is this place? I guess it's part of Holland, apparently. Only four. Okay, there we go. So that's actually going quite nicely. Maybe this will turn out to be pretty good for us. Just an attack through this area will be much easier than through down here. Only seven, come on. They're not bringing any more men in. Attacking multiple animals. Enemy air superiority. Oh, they have air superiority right now. But we did it. Okay. They have air superiority. Let's move our planes from this place then. Uh, West Germany. Yeah, we, we have control over that. But you guys don't need to be there. Standing by. Come join us, men. There we go. They're going to come join us. They can do port strikes. Naval strikes. Yeah, just do whatever you need to do. Perfect. Go attack them. <laughs> they attacked you first. Okay. 
But you're gonna win. Enemy air superiority still. We still have air superiority up here. Mission efficiency. Strategic bombings. Bring some more, I guess. Um, where's one of our other places? Is this in my land? This is. Okay, let's bring some over here. Fighters. Move one equipment. I can't move all of them, apparently. What, 100, I mean. Not 10. There we go. So we'll send 1,000 over there. Once they get there, we can send them in. I also forgot to do the new uh, planes. Strategic bombers? Yeah, we got new strategic bombers. I didn't the last three times. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me sometimes? Look at that. We're running out of factories. I think I say a lot of them are in oh, nuclear bomb. How do we use this? <laughs> I'm now very perplexed. How do I do this? Britain, die. Damn you. I'm assuming you got to do this. No information up here. Details. Uh, friendly radar efficiency. Um, champagne. Strategic bomber. So if we click like that. Mouse. There's the lightning Garcia. The devil. The grasshopper Diaz. And pebbles Rojo. What a lovely... Oh. I did not mean to bring you guys here. I only wanted the strategic bombers who have nothing to do with that. Uh, let's get you guys back here. Okay, you guys go up over there. You come uh, here, once you can. Okay, so I didn't know how to use the nuclear weapons just yet. Uh, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to do that after this part, I think. Or when I need to use them right now. I don't think I'm going to use them right this second. But yeah. Ooh, there we go. Click to drop a nuclear bomb. Uh, we have nuclear bombs. United States are at war with us. All the following must be true. At least 75% air superiority from the region. At least one strategic bomb bomber in range. So we just need superiority, which is probably never going to happen against Great Britain. Unless we got it, like, in one second. Like, we just throw the men. You could never bomb Great Britain. That's, like, impossible. America? Just just throw a nuclear bomb on the Washington? Could be kind of fun. I, think, I don't think we have one in range. Yeah. We have no sh okay, we're, we're going to have to try and find a way to bomb Great Britain. I don't know if you just throw all your sh your planes... At once, like onto your the place. I don't know if that would work. We have four thousand. They have like fifteen thousand. I don't think we're ever going to get air superiority. But maybe if we just throw all the men. Ooh, look at that. They're actually doing a really good job at the moment in Greece. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Ooh, the British are really pushing back in Africa though. Yeah, it's still kind of a standstill actually. But this, look at this. It's not gone well at all. Okay, actually delete your front lines, because your front lines are dumb. Stick there. Just keep your men where they bloody are. They're fine as it is. These guys are weaker, but we're not going to get through. Okay, so we'll leave it till next time then. Yeah, I'm having, I'm in trouble trying to make a strategy, a viable strategy to push through in these areas and to take over the world. But we have some potential opportunities. I'm just going to wait and see what the others do right now. That's probably where most of our story lies. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Good night.